Good evening, everyone. And for those of you from Iraq who have just arrived, Salam Aleikum. Welcome to Port. Muy bienvenidos a todos en esta noche. In 1980, I had the privilege of traveling to Thailand. I went to Thailand under the auspices of the United Nations to help transition the Khmer people to the United States, to England, to Canada, to Australia. And one of my tasks in the process of transitioning them I realize some of the new folks may not know English, and so therefore this may not be understandable. But anyway, was to help them learn English so that they could be able to make it in the new society. In the process, I listened to their stories. They were not pretty stories. They were stories of much pain. They were stories of much suffering. And I remember many a night crying with my new friends as they shared their stories. Stories too painful to share with you tonight. But if we were to open this up as an opportunity for each of you to share your stories, you would also have painful stories to share too. Because there's no one here tonight that has not undergone pain and suffering in your transition from your country to this country and even in this country. One of my favorite poets and spiritual writers is the Vietnamese Zen master, Thich Nhat Hanh. And Thich Nhat Hanh, what I love about him is that he helps us to understand our world better as a result of reading his work. It is so easy in a world like ours today with so much pain and suffering and cruelty going on to take sides and say those are the perpetrators of evil and these are the victims. And of course none of us wants to find ourselves in the perpetrator side. And so we often take these sides. The beauty of Thich Nhat Hanh is that he helps us to see that we have been both in this world. And it's not one of taking sides, but one of recognizing our human frailty and our humanness. And of all the poems that I have read from Master Thich Nhat Hanh, my favorite, and because it speaks to the human condition, is the one that he titled Please call me by my true name. It was a poem that he wrote in 1978 as a result of the Khmer Rouge and the crisis going there and, and, and the piracy in the China Sea that resulted in people being killed and women being raped and, and possessions being lost. And this poem was written during the time of helping the boat people. It was first read at a retreat in Cosmos Center in Amsterdam. And the priest, Daniel Berrigan, was present. I want you to listen carefully to this poem. Because it speaks to our human condition. Please call me by my true name. 
Don't say that I will depart tomorrow. Even today, I'm still arriving. Look deeply. Every second, I am arriving to be a bud on a spring branch. To be a tiny bird with still frail, fragile wings. Learning to sing in my new nest. To be a caterpillar in the heart of a flower. To be a jewel hiding itself in a stone. I still arrive in order to laugh and to cry. To fear and to hope. The rhythm of my heart is the birth and death of all that is alive. I am a mayfly metamorphosing on the surface of the river. And I am the bird that swoops down to swallow the mayfly. I am a frog swimming happily in the clear water of a pond. And I am the grass snake that silently feeds itself on the frog. I am the child in Uganda, all skin and bones, my legs as thin as bamboo sticks. And I am the arms merchant selling deadly weapons to Uganda. I am the 12 year old girl, refugee on a small boat, who throws herself into the ocean after being raped by the sea pirate. And I am the pirate my heart not yet capable of seeing and loving. I am a member of the Politburo with plenty of power in my hands. And I'm the man who has to pay his debt in blood to my people dying slowly in a forced labor camp. My joy is like spring, so warm it makes flowers bloom all over the earth. My pain is like a river of tears, so vast it fills four oceans. Please, please call me by my true names so I can hear all my cries and laughter at once, so I can see that my joy and pain are one. Please. Call me by my true names so I can wake up and the door of my heart could be left open. The door of compassion. Blessings.